Welcome back. Youth sports are canceled for now. It is a time when thousands of athletes would be practicing and playing in tournaments. And our Melissa Crash is showing us how Westfield's Grand Park Sports Complex is strategizing what they need to do in order to reopen to athletes and their families. The fields are closed, bleachers are empty, and the few who are visiting the Grand Park Sports Complex are here for COVID-19 testing. We've <laughs> discovered a lot of uses uh, in our last five years for this unique building behind us and a lot of non-sporting events. It's a site Westfield Mayor Andy Cook never imagined, and when it's safe to do so, he's ready for games to resume. We're ready. We just need to uh, be sure that we do it correctly. He says it's been a challenge financially as the complex plays a huge role in the economy. Two, three hundred million dollars of normal spend uh, throughout the year in all of central Indiana and in food, lodging, entertainment, travel. And that money day by day is not coming in. We're still evaluating different plans for the campus and how we can return to play safely. William Knox is the director of Grand Park. He's taken the guidance from the governor to create a reopening plan, along with talking with sport industry leaders across the country to answer this. What does it look like for Indiana specifically? and how we can provide some additional guidance to the governor if he so chooses to talk about sports tourism particularly. Practices will resume at the complex on May 24th. For now, 100 people will be allowed per defined space per sport. One month from now on June 14th is when tournaments will get back on track, but that could all change and leaders here are preparing for that reality. Keep in mind that what I said is our behavior is gonna affect, our behavior today will affect where we are in June in July. Masks will be recommended, not required, and along with social distancing. Limiting congregating at the restroom and concessions facilities. Playing by the rules to keep all athletes and spectators safe. We're hopeful that we can get to a point where we can get kids back outside soon. In Westfield, I'm Melissa Crash, Fox 59 News. So it's important to note that these dates could change depending on updated guidance from the governor's office. The hope is to continue all youth sporting activities at Grand Park by July 4th.